Ho! Okay, this is where we left off. We got our time. Got our gooey stuff going on here. Uh, let's do a few other things to it. So I'm going to go ahead, get back into the creation of the object clock. And let's see where we're at. We got that. We got that. We got that. Got that. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a few more variables in here. Um, temp seconds equal second. Oops. I screw all these up. Temp sec equals sec second. Okay. I'm gonna add bell equals hour. Um, bell count will equal nothing, equal zero. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add this for right now. I'm not going to get it. This is going to be for when I, I'm just going to add that UFO. But once again, you could add whatever you want running around in the background once in a while. Aesthetics, aesthetics. Set it to random range 300 and to 600. And holiday text equals empty string. This is just going to be for an example of if a holiday comes up, you can have it do cool stuff. And I'll say sound on equals true and that's i'm going to make it so that you can turn off the sound so you don't hear the clicking because we're going to add the, the minute or the seconds and it'll chime on the hour okay so we need let's see let's get back into our draw you draw on that draw on that draw on that draw on that uh, full time, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna give it a little um kind of a, a drop shadow. I'm gonna drop shadow everything, a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go. Let's see. We want that's the nums. So I'm going to copy Sprite Nums being drawn. And I'll make that and I'll just make it uh, black. See, black. But it will be offset by two pixels. Y plus two. Separate these out a little bit. Uh, the ring, I won't do it to. Do it to everything else. Hour. Just change that color to black. Oops. Black. And all of them be offset by two. Here. And the, you could change the alpha too, so it's like a, a less intrusive. It could be like 0.8 or 0.7, something like that. So it's kind of a faded color. Plus two. Plus two. Seconds. Two plus two, uh, which hand is this one? Sprite, oh, that's just the centerpiece. Um, won't do it to the centerpiece. So that's the hour, the minutes, the seconds. 
Okay, numbs. Did it to the numbs. I'm also going to do it for our text too. So what I'll do, let's grab this with the time. Um, make that black. And I'll offset this one. Since it's going negative, it's got to go minus 48. And this will just be X plus 2. And then for the date... Copy that. There's our full date. I'll just copy that. And once again, it's going the wrong way. So we'll do 173 plus 2. Make this black. <clears throat> We've got our center going. Actually, no, that's for this. Our center going. That's good. Our angle. Wait, why is the center? I don't think we need an angle for our center. The, the angle for the center should just be zero. That's a mess up. And I think that's... Well, hell, while we're here, we're not utilizing it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and write it. If holiday text is not equal to nothing... Then draw text and I'll set it at 150. I'll just kind of put it in the left right corner 100, and then we'll draw out the holiday text. I think that's all we really need in here. Okay, we're done with the draw at this point, but we got a bunch of work to do in the step. So we got that, we got the hour. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna grab, let's see, I gotta go get it. The audios. I'm going to grab the audios. Those will be in the assets folder. And I'm just going to put those in my sounds. And I'll just set them to compressed. Sound bell. Sound tick. And I'll just compress not streamed. I mean, if you want them streamed, you can. But it seems a little silly. Okay. So step... Now, when we made, we got the bell, which equals the hour, and we got the bell count. So, I'm going to say, if bell does not equal hour, but we set it to the hour when we started. So this means it's if it was one o'clock, that means if the hour changed, okay, we got the hour here. If it changed two o'clock, that means that's changed. Then we're going to say bell equals hour. And bell count equals bell. Now what that what's going on here? Because we haven't changed our hour. So we're bringing in the hour. Remember, the hour is from zero to uh, 24. So we're going to have to compensate for that. So actually, we should put, where's our if hour equals, there it is. Okay, let's grab this. I'm going to grab this and cut it, and we're going to put it in here. So if the bell hour is over 12, 
it goes to negative 12 here. And let's see, bell count equals bell. No, I'm doing that wrong. Okay, let's yank this back out of here. Let's put it under here. That doesn't make sense. Okay, but we are going to say if bell hour is larger than 12, bell count will minus equal 12, just like this here. Um, and we'll go down here and say, if sound is on, alarm zero equals one. Okay, so if it's a new hour, it's going to call to the alarm zero. Okay, so and if the bell's ringing, I don't want the second sound to work. So if temp second is not equal, it's not equal to second. That's basically saying if it's not equal to second, don't play this sound. And bill count equals zero. Temp second equals second. <clears throat> and if sound on audio Play sound, sound, tick. And this tick, tick, sound, tick. Go one and false. We don't want it to repeat. And it's proprietary, or it's important. Okay, let's see here. Got time, current year, month, day. So there's the month. God damn it. So now I'm going to also add. So we can shut off the sounds if we want to. Uh, keyboard check, rest, virtual key, I'll just make it F1. And if sound is on, down is on, sound is on, sound on equals false else it's true okay so that's that that's that so let's go ahead and make alarm zero i'll say if Bill count is larger than zero. Audio play sound, sound bell. One and don't repeat. So it's larger than zero. See, we've turned it into, where'd it go? Um,
See, bell equals hour, and bell count will equal that hour. So if it's 2 o'clock, bell's 2 o'clock. And once again, if it's over 12, it'll be minus 12. So 2 o'clock's fine, unless it's 14 o'clock. Then it will change here to 2 o'clock. So in here, if bell count is larger than 0, then alarm... 0 equals 120. So it'll chime every two, every two seconds. And then we'll reduce the bell count until it's 0, and then it'll stop. So it should play whatever time it is. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's give that a try. Okay, we got the clicks. Now I'm going to change my clock so that we get into, let's see, I'm going to set it to be coming 8, 59, and 56 seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the ticks start kicking in again. Okay, so that worked. That's cute. Now let's. In also, I wanted to look at make sure all the shading is working good. This kind of shit has the drop shadows going on now. So that looks good. And you can see the text a little better with the drop shadow. Okay. So let's add our UFO. Let's go ahead and make an object, create object, and just call it object UFO. Oops. And like I said, you can put anything in here you want. I'll grab our UFO sprite. And in here, we'll add our create. And it's pretty simple code. I'm going to say x equals i integer random. Random. <clears throat> It'll be between 0 and 1. If x equals 0, x equals 0, direction will equal random range. And I'm going to do it kind of a <clears throat> minus 22.5 and 22.5. So it's just kind of a weird little angle, so it makes sure that it goes into the middle there, where the, where the clock is. Else, see that, that in there. Otherwise, we're, it, the X is going to be the room width. And the random range will be 157.5 and 202.5 and we'll just set the Y just to the room height divided by 2. Uh, we'll set a random speed random range I'll just go 0.5 and three. Okay. Um, I'm going to give him a little shadow too. So I'm going to have to draw him. So in the draw, I will say draw sprite um, extended sprite UFO. Zero 
x plus I'm just gonna make it one one offset y plus one 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 zero and it'll be black and I'm going full bore on the alpha and then I get something wrong here no and then then just draw self because when you use the draw you have to you have to draw yourself draw your sprite otherwise it's not going to show up or may even cause an error okay and all we have to do is add other outside the room instance destroy uh, and then I'm going to say with object clock, we'll just have it uh, start up again. Alarm zero equals random range. Once again, 300 to 600, like we did in the create of, of the object clock. Oops, alarm. I just do. There we go. Okay, so that's all good. But in our object clock, did I set that right? Hold on. Outside room, alarm zero, the clock. Alarm zero, that doesn't make sense. I think I got that wrong here. Oh, in your object UFO, outside the room, that should be alarm one. We haven't made that yet. So let's open up this alarm object clock, alarm one. And all it's gonna do is create the UFO. Let's create a layer. We'll set it to X, Y. It's going to take care of where it's going to be. Instances, object, UFO. Okay, let's give that a try. It's always fun when it crashes, though. Okay, there's our clock going. I have to wait a few seconds for a UFO to show up. There he comes. There he is. You could even add sound when he's in, when he's in that area, like make little noises. If you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I wanted to do one more example. Uh, did I write that code? I think I did. Yeah, holiday text. Um, let's get into the step. And this is just a small little example. Um, because you could do all kinds of things. You could do every holiday ever invented and create this stuff. So, uh, we're going to have to be... In mine here, I'm using the month and the date. So I got to be, nothing can be converted or anything like that. So let's see, here's our month and date here. So I'm going to, right under here, I'm just going to say if month equals one and date. I mean, you could do birthdays, you could do all kinds of things. You could, I would create a database of all the holidays and special days that you want to utilize and have it say crazy stuff. So say if the kids have to go to bed at a certain time, set it so every night it goes off and, and it has their mom yelling at them or something. Or if it's time for dinner, you could have them 
have it set off at five o'clock at night to time for dinner. Okay, so all I'm doing is changing the holiday text here. So if it's month one, January, and the date is first, what is that? That's Happy New Year's. And all I'm going to do is put text up for it. But you could have fireworks going off and all kinds of crazy sound effects. So here's month 12, date 25th. Screams Merry Christmas. But you got to add this too. Else. Make sure these are else statements. Otherwise it's going to be there. It'll just keep going on. Uh, else it'll equal nothing. Because if the day changes, that's not going to change. <clears throat> well, maybe it would. But this is safe. Okay, so let me give this a try. And I'm going to change my computer clock time. I'm going to go to January 1st. And there it is. Happy New Year's. And I can go to uh, December 25th. Merry Christmas. Or I can go back to whatever day today is and it doesn't exist. It's kind of cool. And let's try our F1. Okay, now it doesn't click. So it doesn't bother you at night. I don't know. It's kind of a fun little project. All right. I hope you had a good time with this. And I, th I see a lot of things that you could utilize this for. But that's up to you and your creativity. All right, guys. Aho! I'll talk to you later. Okay, um, there was one last thing I wanted to add to it is, and you don't have to do this, but I'm going to go into, I'm just going to drag in into my sprites, my logo. Let's like that middle center. So frames, let's just call it sprite logo. Or you can use text or you could have it say something and have a little picture of yourself. Happy birthday, mom, or something like that. I don't know. But I'm just going to add this one last little thing in here. And I'll get into, not the step, let's get into our that objects, object clock, in the draw. And I'll, I'm just going to put it at the very top. <clears throat> um, draw sprite extended right logo I'll just set it to x um, y and I'll just add plus 100 so it sits down a little low and with my sprite, it's kind of big, but so I'm going to cut it in half. I'll put its X and Y size to 0.5. Uh, rotation, the white, and alpha one. Just, I'm basically going to show, why am I getting that error right there? I can fix draw sprite extended nine. Got, I'm missing something. Oh. Okay, that should do it. Okay. Okay, let's give that a try. <clears throat> and there it is. My logo's right there. And you can put anything in there. Anything like a little message or something like that. And it could change too by the day if you want. But I was just showing that. Okay. So we'll call that good. Okay. Aho!